what up you guys back at it again with another video it's been a week and some change since i posted last um i've just been buried in in projects uh both for my normal job and for this thing um i think the last thing you guys saw was i did the uh the traction bar in the front um but since then got a couple other things going on uh first off <laughs> i can't really hide this very much longer but uh yeah i somehow got myself a set of te 37 ogs the good old 37 grammars so that's amazing um shout out to my buddy drew who gave me the tip on uh a guy on instagram that was selling those and i capitalized on that as soon as i could um this weekend i've got uh corner balanced and zygreen shooting a video on this car i'll sh i'll throw both of their uh channels down below uh, so yeah, check out their channels for their review of this car. It should be really interesting. Um, I just got back from my buddy Ken's shop. Uh, got my alignment done. It was super, super out of whack because obviously I did so much stuff. Um, oh yeah, another thing that I did not mention yet was innovative uh, polyurethane mounts. That changed the game, guys. That and the TE37s, actually. Um... No more movement of my motor in the engine bay. Throttle response feels really good, but I can't tell if it's because of the motor mounts or if it's because of the wheels. Um, these wheels are super light. They're so much lighter than my DPs, it's crazy. Um, I mean, I would go as far as to say it's like three times lighter. Um, also painted my front calipers back to silver. Um, we've got some stop tuck pads in there. Um, I'm still running the OEM rubber lines. I plan on getting some stainless steel lines in here soon. But for now, I just threw these pads on. They made a big difference. And then I cleaned up my rear drums and brought the paint back on that. So that's cool. Um, I will be in the market for EX undercarriage stuff at some point. Um, I'm really looking for the EX rear disc brakes and sway bar. Right now I'm running no sway bar in the back. Everyone's like, dude, you gotta run a sway bar so you can get it to rotate. And I'm like, dude, this thing's rotating. Trust me. <laughs> but still, still want a sway bar for sure. Um, so yeah, lightning rounds. That's everything that's been going on with this thing. Um, oh yeah, I got another thing actually. Check this out. You guys know what the hell this is? Get, get, get off me. This here is a door alignment tool. Um, I just picked this up. My brother used to be in a body shop. He used to work at a body shop. And I was telling him about my little door sitch here where it's just, it's almost there, but it's not quite. Um, you can see, especially when you're coming at the car this way, you can see how much of a, like a, of a, of a lip there is on that. And then the door is not meeting up perfectly. So I've, I've loosened the brackets and I've tried to shuffle it around to try to get it to match up, but it's really just not happening. So I told my brother about that and he told me to pick up this thing. So this is a door alignment tool. Um, yeah, I guess I can kind of give like a small demo of how it works, although I can't do it here because I got no space. Um, but basically what you do, from what I understand, I'll watch some more videos on it, is you take this piece here, you put it into that, and then you take um, these little knobbies here and you'll fit it into the uh, where the latch goes. And then you can use the leverage of this to kind of bend it back into the spot where the latch connects perfectly. So I'll be maybe shooting a, shooting a video on that. I'm not really sure. Um, I think it's just going to take me a couple little tugs and it's going to be fixed. So let me, get, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, if you have any experience using a door alignment tool, let me know if there's anything I got to look out for. Um, still rocking the three different kinds of lug nuts. Um, yeah, I know, it's really ugly. Also, there's some stains I gotta get out of these wheels too. They're not perfect. No curbs, but pretty dirty. Um, yeah, I do want to get some nicer lug nuts for them, but at the same time, I mean, these do help the car be a little bit more secure. 
so I don't know we'll see what what I end up doing I may actually end up putting my NSX lug nuts on here and getting some titanium ones for the NSX later so we'll see about that um, but yeah I think I'll just keep it quick you guys will probably be pretty surprised about all the stuff that just happened to this car um, I got a track day coming up on November 5th I'm thinking I'm taking the NSX to that one though uh, it'll be my first track day in the NSX. My buddy's bringing his. He's got a stock one, so I feel like it'll be a, a good time for me to go out with mine and kind of mess around and see what's up. But uh, yeah, all right. A little quick update for you guys. Um, I'll try to shoot something again real soon. Um, until that, peace out, suckers.